Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Tower of Probatio. Today we're doing a deck based around the on the effect of swarming your deck with minions, which I'll explain more as the game progresses. Okay, so this guy looks oh my goodness, what are these cards? Increases power by one for each dark magic card in your opponent's deck. Well, that seems incredibly strong, so I'm gonna get rid of the Sphinx for now. And the werewolf, interesting. So my main goal in this deck is to swarm the board, really. And so that way we can confront it and later on massively increase their power by one across the board. If this card has the highest power at this tower, pay one additional mana next turn. I like that. Interesting. I will do that because it's a low power card. Ah, uh, low cost card, sorry. And my other cards have like group effects. So if you play cards in this lane, like Idan, at the end of each turn, the power of one of your cards in this zone increases by one. So I'm trying to do the swarm power group effect. So I'm trying to put pressure on the opponent. Then we'll go with Tia, and then we'll go with Bonacon and see how we go. Welcome, Palmy, and welcome to the party. I'm really enjoying Tower Probatio, adding that variety instead of just a marble snap. It's very, very fun, and I thoroughly enjoy it. Ooh, if this is the highest card at this location, obtain one additional mana next turn. I think I will do that, thank you very much. Try and win the right side. Excellent. The Gatekeeper. If all four cards fill the zone, no more cards can be played at this tower. Interesting. Alright, so we've got four energy. I reckon they're going to play into Cerebrus. I could be completely wrong though, but I'm going to put a Senator there. I'm going to put Bonacon straight in the middle. Oh, beautiful. Excellent. Undyne. Interesting. Beautiful. Oh, let's cut that down to short. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, this is perfect. Let's put the... Let's put Idan into the left lane. And then we can really increase the power long term. Excellent. Spore Witch. Whoa. Interesting. Okay, that is a very interesting card. What is what does that do? Does that just do minus one? Decrease the power plays cards. Interesting. So I think our swarm tactic might do a bit better here. If I play this correctly. So if I play Zurong to the left, I'm still in a pretty good spot. Oh, that's fine. Not too worried about that, because we can still increase our power. Beautiful. The cost of cards next turn increases to 7. I like that. And we've got Hector. So Hector's the card I'm talking about. Excluding this card, the power of my place cards increases by 1. So I'm very thrilled about how this one's going to turn out with Mr. Hector. Beautiful. Oh, Goblin King. Very interesting. All right, we're in a fantastic spot here now, guys. Oh, absolutely. Let's keep going. Draws a card. That's all that does, really. Well, I don't think you're going to get through to this one, sir. We're easily going to smash through with the power. Unless they want to decide to do killing the one-cost cards, but I don't think that's really going to cut them through. No way. We shall see though. I could be very surprised. What do you got, Pammy? Hope you all are having a wonderful day. Today is Easter for me over here. If you're having Easter as well, hopefully everything is going well with your families. Go Hector! Egyptian judge. Oh no, my poor little friend. Owl Warrior. Oh, wow. Nice try, friend, but that is not enough. <laughs> I spent the wonderful morning with my grandparents and we had some nice breakfast, the usual breakfast, and we went out for a lovely lunch. It was some lovely bonding time. The health was a lot better today and we had my grandfather's sister come over. We had a, had a nice family get together bonding time and it was very nice a very nice day so far 
Okay, so the first game went absolutely well, straight up to level 23. Okay, let's keep it going. So what I'm mainly, as I've described using here, is Hector, increasing our cards by one more power, with the likes of balancing that out with Lakshmi. So that way, if they try and swarm the board on final turn, they cannot. I try and swarm the board, swarm the board around Isle 5, which have worked very well that game to get the odds of six, locking down every single card at one cost at a seven, smash it down with Hector, and then we've got a good chance. We just need to try and gain priority and win. Or not priority, more power, as I should mention, excuse me. All right, let's move on to the next game. Excellent. Tell me, what are your plans for Easter today? Any exciting events? Easter egg hunts, perhaps? Or if you don't celebrate Easter, just having a good time with the family, perhaps? Or if you go to church, hopefully that all goes well for you. Oh, they got a Hector as well. Interesting. I'm going to ban their Hector. They could ban mine. Oh, okay. They banned our mad clown. I'm not hugely concerned about that. All right, what do we got? Merlin cost of two cards in your opponent's hand by one. I'm going to take Indra because that's the fantastic swarm card. Absolutely fantastic. I'll use this as a turn five play. All right, Hermes. We'll go to the left this time and see how we go. Black Tiger. Interesting. That's a very interesting first turn play. Okay. I done is also very good here. Increases cards in this zone by one power. I'm going to hold off and play Butler next turn. Oh wow, Egyptian Judge already. Very interesting. I might start playing Butler in the middle. Give up on left. And we'll see how we go from there. The Butler's going to be very handy here for us. Okay. David's down to a zero cost. Oh, that's absolutely fantastic. I think we'll go with the... Da, 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 da. Then we'll do Udan in the middle. David will save for later, because that's going to be extremely handy for us. Okay, turn five. We're not in a very bad spot here, but I'm going to continue playing on anyway. Senatorus. Interesting. I think we'll go with the Orc Chief. And then we can go with the Senatorus. And we'll go that for now. Okay, we didn't get that one, unfortunately, but that's all right. Not hugely concerned about that just yet. Excellent. Okay. Oh, we've got Lakshmi. Very, very good. Okay, Lakshmi is fantastic here. Then we go Lakshmi on the left. Then we go David straight in the middle. Swarm the board and then we can play Hector. Hopefully that can get us the game. We shall see though, I could be completely wrong. Okay, now we're going to be careful where we play here. We need to try and secure at least one location. I think we'll go with Hector, so that way they've blocked all their costs. And then we can at least three-way spread. That's the only way. Unless they play their Super Ninja guy, then we should be good. Mad Clown. Oh, I'm so sorry, Harper, but that is not enough. <laughs> Beautiful. Alrighty. Oh, that is absolutely fantastic. Hmm. GG, my friend. GG. Excellent. Let's move on to the next game. Alrighty. Cool. Moving up in our ranks up to 24. Oh, man, that is fantastic. Love it. Yeah, so this coming week, as I'm not working today, I will possibly be doing a video this weekend. I'm not 100% sure yet. See how the plan goes. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. All right, welcome Stella Daisy, and welcome to the party. Let's concentrate just for one moment. Chupacabra, increases power by one for each of your other cards in this zone. Interesting. Uh, Golem, Werewolf, Mad Clown, Hector. We've got three big cards. I still don't like Hector, so I'm getting rid of that. 
Interesting. Okay. We got rid of our Lakshmi, so this is going to be a very difficult one for us. Places two Snake Maiden cards in this zone. I don't know exactly what that does. What exactly does that do? I don't know. Including this card, the power of your cards in this zone increases by two each at the start of turn five. Sure. All right, we'll go with this one. I think this is going to be a tough one for us, but we shall see. Tower Perseverance will tear. Let's see if we can do it. Bonacon. Okay, that's all right. Not the worst for us here. We'll go straight for Bonacon. David will leave for later. Nile River. Uh huh. Interesting. We've got Zhrong. Very good. I think I'll do Zhrong here for now. So that way we can increase the uh, power later on. Oh, that's not very nice. How dare he? Oh, the butler's very good here. I think I'll do that here for now, and so that way we can increase later on. I'm going to give up a left just for now. Alright, what do we get? Oh, the Queen's Blessing. Interesting. I need to read this effect real quick. Including this card. Hold on. The power of your cards in this zone increases by two each at the start of turn five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's still not the best. So how many cards have they got in hand? Three. I think I'm going to quit this one because I'm not 100% confident. I'm going to get out of there before it gets any worse. They've got a really good start with the Nile River, unfortunately. It's one of their hero cards. But that's alright. That is fine. At least we learn how they're going well and what way we need to progress. Not a problem at all. Okay. Let's keep it cooking. But yeah, this morning has been very good. I am thoroughly enjoying all my time I can caretaking with my grandparents. If you are not aware, also. <coughs> Excuse me. That is what I do on my days off. Demeter. Right, what's Gabriel? Increases power for each card in your hand by two. Galahand increases power by three for each of the other cards in this zone. Interesting, he's got a few selections here. I might go with the uh, Knight Commander. Alright, what do we got? Hercules, passive, increases the power of placed cards in the opponent's zone by two each. Oh dear. Decreases the cost by an amount equal to the previous turn's unspent mana. Minimum cost zero. Interesting. If you play this card, you cannot play cards next turn. I'm going to take that so that way I can play cards earlier on. We shall see though. That could be a big mistake. These are really tough calls though. To be honest, I don't need, think I need to play any cards next turn. So I'm just going to play Hell Incarnate. Okay. That's absolutely fine. We'll do that for now. I'm happy to take the risk for this one. Do 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 do. At the moment, I am a little bit worried about the grandparents' health. It's not becoming the best, and there might be a time we need to take over the. Um... Oh, good. We wasted their Egyptian judge. Excellent. Need to possibly look at doing a. Oh, what do you call it? Not a homeless shelter. A hospice. The one where you put the elderly into a home. That won't be fun. I'll put it that way. It's not going to be fun for anyone. I think we're just wondering, considering if we should just do the Jade Rabbit. For now, I think I will, because we can't really do much else besides the Mayor Clown, but it's still a real waste. There wasn't really much we could really do. David's too risky right now. We'll get the Orc Chief, which still is not the best. But, what do we got here? They've got four cards in hand. We've got the butler. So I think we might just go Orc Chief into butler and see how we go from there. There's the werewolf. All right. 
I'm not going to worry too much on the right side. Ooh, Lakshmi. Interesting. She's a fool. Comes seven. Very interesting. I think we're still in with a chance. I'm going to continue. Well, this is really good. But at the moment, I don't think I'm going to worry about that. I think what we will do instead is play Werewolf on the left. We'll play Orc Warrior. And then we'll play Orc Warrior here and see how we go. We'll try and swarm the board just a little bit. But at this moment, it is looking a bit tense, I should say. Okay. They're up very strong in the middle, so I've got to be careful here. Hermes is there, so that's great. Lakshmi into David is great. Hmm, what's better? Hermes. And then we'll try that, try and split the power a bit. Galahad, oh, tough guy. Jesus, that is insanely powerful. There is a chance we could win this, but we do not have that. Unfortunately, I need to quit. We did not draw the card we need. But that's all right. These things happen, and we need to be careful. <laughs> all right, let's continue moving forward. But today is not all about winning or losing. Today is just about chilling and having a nice good old chat. Good old yarn, as they would say. Getting things off our chest. So yes, I'm wondering how this year is definitely going to go with family. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens, what the next step would be, and seeing how it goes just after Christmas when it gets to that stage. Welcome Elos and welcome to the party. Let's keep it cooking. Okay, what do we got? Right, he's got the one. What is this? Dominion. Increases power by two for each of the other cards in this zone. Interesting. I'm going to get rid of Water Knight. I don't like that. We yeah, I definitely have noticed over the last six to eight months, my grandma's health has not become the best. That's definitely something I'm going to keep an eye on for sure. This Egyptian judge is something I always need to watch out for. And Kraken, that's another one I need to be careful of. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Hector is gone. Okay another one we usually like using but that's all right if you play two or more cards this turn including this one increases by three excellent all right we'll definitely use that one because i like alice alice in wonderland bonacon away okay excellent start but yeah if you do have any grandparents or parents that are still around today you would understand the feeling sometimes there are moments where you have to make decisions and being there for them in their moment of need is the best thing you can do. I don't think I'll worry about using the Red Queen just yet. I might do it when I get Tear out. I'll put her in the middle, then I'll put Tear on the right side, spread out the power. It should be really good for us. Woohoo! Excellent. Oh, double Tear. Beautiful. The butler is interesting here, actually. But is the werewolf better? I think so. I think the werewolf on the right side is going to be tremendously powerful. Family is one of those things I hold straight to the heart. I absolutely love it. It's the best thing in the world. Oh, damn, that's powerful. Oh, nice. Okay, that is a very great counter. I think what we can do here is go for the butler into the mad clown. I'd definitely like to see how this turns out with all this power and energy. <clears throat> the wombo combo of the mad clown and the butler. Oh my goodness, this is insane. All that super energy. Yes, please. What does she do? At the end of the turn, the power one random card from all your zones increases by two. 
Interesting. So I think we'll go with Udan, Idan, and we'll go with Zrong. We'll see how this one turns out for us. Ah, Uriel. Interesting. Okay, now we're going to be very careful. Oh, we've got the Senator. That's actually beautiful. Uh, if this is the only card here, increases its power. I would have to be careful to which way this turns out. But I'm going to go Senator on the left and just see how we go. The problem is, I think that's a bit too easy for us. Because he could do something. Then again, I could be completely wrong. Let's give it a try. And let's just not overthink it. Oh, Dominion. Wow. That is excellent. Very good, sir. Good job. I highly respect that. And that's all we can do about that one. Okay, where's the... Uh, I'm going into the wrong section again. Mind me for one second. I keep forgetting where to find the emojis. Thankfully, it's not a big loss in Silver Rank, so I actually highly appreciate that. Good game. All right, moving on up, back to 25. Excellent. Even a loss in these earlier errors is not hugely concerning. Let's move on to one more game and let's see how this goes. But yes, for the, I'd say for the last, oh, how long has it been? Five years I've been supporting them, my grandparents for about every, every day off on the Tuesday mixed into the Wednesday. It's been a very thrilling adventure. Oh, wow, he's got so many cards. I don't know which one to get rid of. Dragon General, if there are three or more of your cards in this zone, power decreases by seven. Oh my goodness, that is insane. We'll go with Uni. Oh wow, okay. Okay, Werewolf is gone. What do we got? Change the power of cards, place this tower to the basic power of this card. I'll go with Indra. I like this one. Welcome at Devil's So, and welcome to the party. Devils, excuse me. Hermes on the right side. I don't think I saw the Egyptian king on this side, so we can't destroy one cost. I could be completely wrong. I was not paying attention too much in that one. We'll go Tira in the middle. Spread out the power. Nile River. Uh -huh. All right, let's keep it coming. Senatorus. I think we'll go the Zorong here, so that way later on this could come a very powerful. Ah, here. And he's got a Zorong as well. Interesting. Udam could be very handy here. I think I'm going to go with the Senatorus. Is it time for Summoning Master? Not yet. We'll do them next turn. Oh, beautiful. What an excellent, excellent pick. Wonderful. Goodbye, Senatorus. Smash in that Knight Commander. Hmm. Beautiful. All right, turn five. Let's go. So what we'll do here is play the Summoning Master into the Butler. And then we're in a fantastic spot here. We can play Lakshmi and see if that's the best call we can do. The Butler is great because if we can draw a lower cost card, we can just reduce its cost in general. Ah, the Kraken. Oh wow, that's a risky move. Okay. I did play a risky move myself, but I'm going to see if that was the right call. Bonacon. Oh, that is excellent. Okay, let's spread the power of love. That one into that one. Let's see if we can do this with Udan and Hermes. Hermes, Tia, and Udan. Let's see if we can conquer this realm of devils. Oh, Undyne. 
Interesting. Oh wow, that's an excellent pull. <laughs> that was a very excellent pull. That is interesting. I think even if we do this, hold on, before you snap. If we do this, there'll be 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and that'll be 21. The problem is I think they might have a massive card, so I've got to be careful how this plays out. I could be wrong how this plays out, but I'm just happy to play it out for fun. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, then that'll be 21, plus that to that. What was their deck? I know there was something else in their deck. No, their deck, not mine. Can I see their deck at all? No, I can't. Oh, I was just having a look. What's going on? Oh, man, I ran out of time. Oh, well, that's all right. <laughs> I keep forgetting there's a massive time limit that is super delayed. Ah, it's all good. I think I'm happy I left that due to the fact they had a very increasing power card. But well, we had an interesting experience today with the likes of Hector. Let's grab our quest items and then we'll leave it on our way. Let's quickly get all these ones real quick. Avatar summons, okay. Quickly get our little boost. Boost again, let's see if we get Upa Luggy. No, we don't. Oh, that's all right. Sometimes we don't get super lucky. Keep doing these chests real quick. Oh no, we're very unlucky today. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, 1 XP, beautiful. Get another chest. Can we get lucky again? Oh man, no, we, we are not lucky at all. <laughs> uh oh. Come on, we, we can be lucky at least this is one time. Come on, come on. Can we do it? 70%. Are you sure that's 70%? <laughs> Our 70% luck is really running short on us today. All right, is there any other summons we can possibly do? No, they're just avatars. Well, there you go, folks. That was some gameplay of the Hector. Unfortunately, they did ban it a few times. Luxme came in handy here and there, but hey, some games just don't go our way, and that is all right. Until next time, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that one, and I'll see you in the next game. Have a good morning, afternoon, evening, and good night. Peace.